start. Good evening. And uh, we are trying to fix the shopping cart problem, which is not being shared. So the first thing we have to do is to at least we have a user, right? So in this video, we're going to do is to have a sign up to register user. OK, and uh, when we register user, we have to define a model, right, which is a user model. And the things we are doing now. So let's discuss the model of the user we are trying to do. OK. Uh, it's better to separate it in different uh, different what's the oh, what should I say in different videos sign uh, sign uh, sign up a uh, user model uh, design okay mm, this word it looks good uh, let me grab my pad writing pad okay so here Mm, let's first keep our user as simple as possible. So in our user, a uh, user will have those attributes. Okay, one is the name. Okay, and name the type is a string value. Oh, no, 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 name, no, no, name. Just, let's keep it a simple email. Okay, email address and which is uh, this email address has, has to be unique. Okay, and then uh, the value is a string. Okay, and uh, also it has to be uh, required, which means uh, it has to be there, unique and required. Okay, and the next one is for the uh, user also has a password. Password is uh, just a string value. Okay, and then we will each user gonna have a shopping cart, right? So here we're gonna have a cart item cart okay so what's the structure for the cart a cart can store many uh, items right in a shopping cart we can have uh, multiple products being stored in the cart so here it's gonna be an array okay because we might have uh, multiple um, oh sorry sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm wrong sorry sorry it's just an object I, I was thinking about it all the, okay it's an object object and in the cart we're gonna have items okay shopping cart have items the item must to be an uh, array because in the item we're gonna have uh, multiple products right so here it's gonna have an array and which are gonna have uh, multiple products like uh, one two three four and uh, uh, the product here we can have a product. Uh, there's a two solutions. You can either store product, the entire product object. Another way is uh, here we will store product ID. This product ID here gonna be the object ID type. And it should have a reference to our product collection, products collection, which is that a product ID. Okay, and then it's gonna have a quantity field. Okay, so this part will be repeated because one shopping cart we can have multiple items, right? And the other one is we're gonna have here is a total price. Okay, if we purchase, how many, um, how how much money we should spend for this one, uh, for the in all the products multiply the quantity. Okay, and total price is gonna be the number type. Okay, so this is uh, our user um, user gonna be look like like this. Okay, so next uh, video we are just uh, uh, create the model and uh, uh, define this model. Okay, define this model. Okay, and I show you how to using mongoose to specify this part. Okay, so I decided to for the sign up. I decided to give multiple. Uh, videos so each video is a short a short a short okay so remember this shopping cart the structure we define it like this okay okay thank you for watching this video and uh, see you later bye bye